Hello, I am back to continue teaching about sunlight and weather. Today's lesson is 3.4, reflecting on warming through time. For today's lesson, you will need to be able to look at pictures and make observations. You will need to listen to the, what I am teaching you and what I am saying. And I want you to use your brain to put together all those things that you've learned in chapter three. Are you ready to begin? All right, so let's begin. So in our first activity, we're going to think and share. Yes, you can share with me, you can share with a stuffy, you can share with a family member. So we're gonna think and share about the word longer and shorter. So longer time, longer time and shorter time. Okay, that's what we're gonna be thinking about. Longer and shorter. So our investigation question is, why is Earth's surface warmer in the afternoon than it is in the morning? I'm gonna repeat that again. Why is the Earth's surface warmer in the afternoon than it is in the morning? I've been asking you that question several times. In our last lesson, I asked you that question as well. So here, once again, we have figured out about, that our, about our questions so far. It's what we figured out so far, right? So we have all this information that we've collected, the different types of weather. We have temperature with our thermometer. And we have seen that the longer the, uh, the sunlight is hitting the surface, the hotter it's going to be. And the shorter, then it's going to be less hot. So it could be warm and then it gets hot. That's what we've learned so far. So our key concept is that the longer light shines on surface, remember the light, this is our surface, the warmer the surface gets. So we've seen that over and over again in all the lessons that we've seen. So here we have the word longer and we have shorter. So we're going to use these time cards to do another thing and share activity that will help us think about the ideas we have figured out. And I made my own cards here that I can share with you. So here I have my card that says longer. And if you see in the word longer, it's the lines go all the way across. And if you see the word shorter, the lines stop right in the middle because it's shorter, okay? So let's continue. So I'm going to show you several pictures and we're going to talk about the picture in the sense of why the object, person or animal is whether they're longer or shorter in a place depending on the temperature. Okay, so let's take a look at it. We're going to make observations together. I will give you time to think. And then I am going to help you figure out your answers. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first picture. So in our first picture, we have a lizard. And the lizard, you see that is on the rock, right? So what can we think about what's going on with the lizard? Why is the lizard on the rock in one picture? And why does the lizard come out of the rock on the second picture? Let's think about that for a minute. Let's make predictions and observations. I'll give you a minute to think. I'm thinking too, okay? So hmm, we're looking at the lizard is on that rock. Hmm, wonder what's going on there. Then on this side, I see the lizard is coming out. Hmm. All right, we think, remember we're thinking shorter and longer, thinking about sunlight. All right, 
You ready? Okay. So on the first picture where the lizard is on the rock, it tells me that the sunlight has been hitting the surface a shorter time and it is warm. So the lizard is on the rock because it is nice and warm. But guess what? The longer the sunshine hits the rock, the hotter it gets. And if you see in the second picture, I can predict that the rock got very hot because the sunlight has been shining longer. See that? I heard some of you were talking about that. I know you were. All right, ready for the next one? I'm excited to see what the next one is. Okay, ooh, I love the beach. So here I see some sand. I see a guy standing without shoes on the sand. And then I see another guy with boots. Hmm. So let's make our prediction. Where is the, has the sunlight hit longer and where has it hit for a shorter time? I know that when I go to the beach and I know that the sand is nice and warm, I take off my shoes. So it is my prediction that the sun has been hitting longer where the, where the person is not wearing any shoes. So it is warm, nice and warm. And then on the other picture, when the person is wearing boots, boots always remind me that it's cold. So I can tell that the sun has been shining for a shorter time and the sand is cold and that's why he's wearing boots. Did you think the same thing? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, the next one. Not only is it interesting, but it's something really yummy. Are you ready to see what that is? Hmm. It happens to be one of my favorite things. What is this? Mmm, <gasps> yummy chocolate. So here I see chocolate. On one side, on the left side, I see melted chocolate. And on the other side, I see that chocolate is not melted. That is like Kit Kat. Hmm, I love Kit Kat. Okay, so by making my prediction as a scientist and look and knowing everything that I have put together, I can I can predict and I can say with certainty that the sun has been shining for a longer time where the melted chocolate is. That's why it's all melted and hot. And then on the other side, it's been shining for a shorter time because it's not melted. So I'm thinking that maybe it's cooler, right? Or cold. Any of those would work. Very good, right? So now, as you know, that we use a lot of sentence frames in order to come up with the answers and come up with sentences that make sense and put together what we've learned. So here we have, we're going to explain the temperature of a surface like scientists. We will use these words to explain why a surface is warmer at different times of the day. So remember, we're talking about shorter and longer time. So in looking at the sentence frame, we can use some words that we've learned. So the surface is, I'll give you a minute to think about it, blank because the light has been shining on it for a blank time. So it depends on what we use, right? So if I say, the surface is cooler because the light has been shining on it for a, what would it be? Would it be longer or would it be shorter if it's cooler? That's correct. 
shorter time. So let me say that again. The surface is cooler because light has been shining on it for a short time. That is correct. Okay. So here it tells us what we did. So let's explain why the surface was warmer in the second picture. Again, in the other one we said it was shorter time. So in the second picture we will say the surface is warmer because light has been shining on it for a longer time and that's why the lizard ran away because it's too too hot it doesn't want to be there when it's so hot lizards don't like things when they're too too hot all right so now we're going to do another activity and we're going to be interpreting the new playground data all right so here we go back to our question that we've been talking about in chapter three since we started the question is, why are the playgrounds warmer in the afternoon? Remember that the students at Carver and Woodland use thermometers to measure the temperature of their playground each day, just like we did. We have charts that show the temperature on the playgrounds at different times of the day. So we're going to look at our data that we have collected so far with scientist Kate and with myself and we're going to talk about it we're going to compare right. all right so here i'm going to put myself right here in the middle so you can see my face right here we see data of nighttime at carver elementary and we see data in the afternoon for Carver Elementary, those are the recess, afternoon recess. We know with the color purple, I'll give you a minute, the color purple means what? Is it warm? What is it? Do you remember? Do you remember? Yes, we learned that when we see purple, it's very cold. So it's a nighttime, very cold, because there's been no sunlight at all. Zero sunlight, no sunshine. Then, here we don't have any information. It's totally black. We're going to look at the afternoon recess. So in the afternoon, we see yellow and orange. And with everything that we've learned, we know that yellow is warm. And we know that orange is hot. So by looking at our data, we can see that in the afternoon recess, Carver Elementary is warm and then hot. And throughout the day, it changes. It goes from warm, hot, warm, hot, and it changes throughout the day. All right? So what do you predict the morning temperature will be in Carver's playground? So I want you to think about it. When you wake up early in the morning, there hasn't been sun at all. And then early in the morning, what kind of temperature will you have? So I'll give you a minute to think before I show you the answer. Okay. Did you think about it? Did you predict? Okay, let's see if you were right. So here, this chart shows Carver's playground temperature during the morning recess. What do you observe? Did your prediction match what you observed on the, on the temperature chart? Did it? Okay, so if we see early in the morning, it is cold. We know that blue means cold, right? It is cold. There hasn't been any sun, no sunshine, no sunlight. But then as it gets later in the morning, it starts to be nice and cool. So instead of really, you know, like cold, we go to cool, nice temperature. That's the morning recess. And then it gets a little cold again. 
then it gets cool again, and it changes at, throughout the day. All right. So here we have all our data put together. Cold, very cold, then cold, then cool, then warm, then hot. So here we have all the data that has been collected. So why do you think the playground is warmer in the morning than at night? And warmer in the afternoon than in the morning? What do you think that is? So why do you think the playground is warmer in the morning than at night? Because in the morning we know that the sun rises, right? And it starts warming the surface. And then warmer in the afternoon because we know that the longer there's sunshine hitting the surface, the warmer the afternoon is going to get. That is some really good information. So we also have data students collected from the Woodland Elementary Playground. Let's compare the Woodland's night, morning, and afternoon temperatures. We'll also talk about why the temperatures are different in different times of the day. So here we have Woodland. And we see that just like Carver at nighttime, it is very cold, right? Very cold. We see in the morning recess that the temperature starts being nice and cool, but then it gets warm. See, that one's different from Carver. Carver was cool and let's go back and check a minute because I want to make sure. Yeah, Carver is was cold and cool while Woodland is cool and warm. So that's what makes it different. And in the afternoon, Woodland is hot and very hot, while Carver was hot and warm. See, that's the difference. So now we have the answer for that. When we compare, we see that both playgrounds are warmer in the morning than at night, and both playgrounds are warmer in the afternoon than in the morning. So now we're going to use our bodies to show how the temperature changes when a surface gets warmer or colder. So if you remember our last lessons, I showed you uh, this character. And if your hands are to your side, you're going to be with your fingers still. That is cold. Let me see. Go ahead and do that for me. Stand up. Both hands to the side, fingers are still, that is, yes, cold. Okay, ready to do cool? Remember, you're going to put your hands in front of you, just a little bit, and you're going to wiggle slowly. All right. For warm, you're going to put your hands in front of you, right in front, look at number three, and you're going to wiggle your fingers quickly quickly. And then for hot, you're going to put your hands over your head and you're going to move your fingers really fast, really fast, really fast. All right. Good job. Good job. Okay. So now our next activity is explaining warming over time. So here we are going to look at, again, cause and effect. And we're going to do this by working on a shared writing. Each time we learn something new, we can write to communicate our ideas. To get, to get ready to write, let's talk about cause and effect.
What is the cause? What makes the playground surfaces warmer in the afternoon than in the morning? So that is our question. And here we have a sentence frame. Earlier in our lesson, we used these words to explain what happens to the temperature of a surface the longer light shines on it. So now we can use similar words to explain, to help us explain the principles of Carver and Woodland, why the playgrounds are cooler in the morning and warmer in the afternoon. So here we have our questions. We will use the language frame to talk about cause and effect and make a sentence about our answer and then I will write it down. Now you're not going to see me physically write it. I am going to have it posted already on my shared writing poster. So here we go. In this explanation, the effect is the playgrounds are warmer in the afternoon than in the morning. The cause is the sunlight shining on the playground surfaces for a longer time. So in looking at the shared writing, we have the two questions. Why are the playground surfaces cooler in the morning than in the afternoon? So the answer would be using our sentence frame and the words we were talking about, it says, the surface is cooler because the light has been shining on it for a shorter time. And then why are the playground surfaces warmer in the afternoon than in the morning? The surfaces are warmer because sunshine has been shining on them for a longer time. So the word because explains the effect and the cause. Okay, so those are words that scientists use to come up with an explanation and the cause and effect. So remember, scientists do different things to answer their questions. What scientists do to answer questions, remember that we observe, record, we read, we compare, we make models and we communicate. We have done all of those things that scientists do in order to arrive to our answer. So let's think about the new ideas we have learned. We have figured out many new ideas about why surfaces get warmer and warmer. We have also learned about what scientists do. The playgrounds at both schools get warmer the longer sunlight is shining on them. But the students at these schools are uncomfortable on their playground at different times of the day. So there must be something else causing the temperature differences. But in order to find out, you would have to hear the next lessons that are coming up on chapter four. And I cannot wait to explain explore all those answers with you. So we've come to the end of our lesson. Once again, thank you for spending time with me. Have an amazing, beautiful day, and I'll see you on our next lesson. Goodbye. Have a great day. Bye.